The 2024 presidential primary campaign now shifting to South Carolina for both Republicans and Democrats. The Democratic primary will have the first official contest recognized by the DNC coming up in just over a week. While Nikki Haley will have to wait nearly a month before getting the chance to take on former President Trump in her home state. Correspondent Brooke Schaefer is live in Charleston. And Brooke, Haley is pressing onward despite these new attacks from Trump and we're seeing representation for Biden in the state there today. Yeah, exactly. President Joe Biden will be here in South Carolina over the weekend. Uh, and California Governor Gavin Newsom is here today. He just wrapped up a campaign stop here in the Palmetto State. During his stops, he went after former President uh, Donald Trump, according to local reports, calling Trump a damaged candidate. Governor Newsom also saying it's going to be difficult for Nikki Haley to get the nomination after losses in both Iowa and New Hampshire. This, as we've learned, that President Biden is preparing for an expected rematch against former President Trump. Meantime, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley also hitting the campaign trail here in South Carolina, her home state, the state she used to be governor of, despite uh, calls from some for her to drop out of the race. She's been pushing back on those calls, saying this race is far from over and sharpening her criticisms of former President Donald Trump, saying this to supporters at a stop in North Charleston last night. And Donald Trump got out there and just threw a temper tantrum. <laughs> He didn't talk about the American people once. He talked about revenge. Then get on a debate stage and let's go. But today, Haley's campaign also facing some conversations about finances. Will big name donors stay with her after back to back losses? Haley said that in the 24 hours after the New Hampshire primary on Tuesday, her campaign raised a million dollars from 200,000 donors. But even still, reports say that billionaire Reed Hoffman does not plan to give Haley's campaign any more money. Another prominent Haley backer telling us that some donors don't see a path forward for her at this point. And of course, Nicole, those conversations are going to be critical as Haley looks to bring her campaign home here to South Carolina, a state where former President Donald Trump is leading in the polls by double digits. Nicole. All right, Brooke Schaefer, live for us there in Charleston. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.